For those of you who have uh, speaker wires that you take care of for your uh, passive cabinets, uh, this is a 12 gauge wire and uh, after we put an end on it and it comes up with something like this. Now this video is about the uh, the connectors, the speak on connectors, but uh, I'm sorry it is not a video on how to put these together. Uh, hopefully soon I'll have a video covering that, but this is actually about uh, the connector itself. So for those of you who have been uh, putting, I'll start with a small one here. If you've been putting the wire in here and you're cranking down on it here with, with a, uh, let me try to get some more light on that. Uh, if you're cranking down on it here with a uh, screwdriver, uh, sort of like this, it's um, sometimes it just doesn't turn out too well because uh, as you've probably had issues with it before that um, the uh, screw that's in there, uh, the head of it starts uh, coming apart. But the problem is, is that, well, not a, it's not really a problem, but the issue is not the speak on connector. The issue is the screwdrivers that you're using. And the reason is, is that the screws that are in here are not Phillips head screws. They're just not. Now, if you've been lucky in the past to be able to stick um, a Phillips head in here and screwed something down, which I have, I've done myself, you know, up to a point it does work, but when it comes time to when you start torquing stuff down, that the uh, screw head just starts um, coming apart. So, the issue is the screwdrivers. The issue is not this. And the reason is that the screws that are in here are actually PosiDrive uh, screws. They are not Phillips. So, let's take a look here. Okay, so here is a photo of the uh, connector end. And as you can tell, it does look like a Phillips. But if you notice, on the head of the connector, where you see the cross in the middle where the Phillips would go, you should see some little tick marks that are in between where those cross in between where the cross points are where a Phillips goes. Those cross points are telling you that this is a posi drive screw. It is not a Phillips. Okay, so here are the bits uh, that I referenced before, and one of them is a Phillips, and the other one is a posi drive. Now, if you notice, the bit that has a PZ on it, which is uh, actually engraved on the bottom part of the bit, that is a posi drive bit. And the other one has a PH. That stands for Phillips. Okay, now here you can tell, looking at the bits, uh, the one on the left says uh, PZ. It's right on the bit. And the one on the right, you really can't tell, but it says PH on it for Phillips. Um, both of them are size number one. But if you notice, see that little ridge? in the middle of the PZ bit there on the left. Did you notice that ridge does not exist on the one on the right? And that ridge is just running right down in the middle uh, near the tip. Okay, the bit, that's, the bit that is on the uh, screwdriver here is a posi bit. Now I'm torquing this down over here uh, to the point where it is going to get rather tight. We can't go in anymore. Okay, now on a posi, this thing fits in here really tight. I mean, there's n it doesn't really even move. If I were to take a regular, like a Phillips screwdriver, uh, let me, yeah, we'll use this one here, the smaller one. If I stick this in here and start torquing it, the screw cams out. It doesn't take much force, but the screw, well, let's see here, there we go. It doesn't take much force, but, but the screwdriver cams out, and this is what causes the stripping of the head. So if we stick the posi drive in there, I mean that is, see right here, and I can turn it just a little bit more, but I'm putting, I'm putting some decent pressure on it and it is not coming out. So anyway, I hope this helps, uh, especially if you're, if you're used to making your own cables and you're wondering why stuff's stripping out or you can't really get a good uh, torque on it. Anyway, all the bits in here, pardon me, all the screws are all posi drive. They are not a Phillips. These screws in here 
are posi drive bits. They are not a Phillips bit, so I'll just knock that out. All right, hope this helps.